Hey guys, today is June 26, 2020. I'm Kimberly Jolly from Fat Quarter Shop and today I'm super excited to just show you some stuff I've been working on and um, I have been working on a lot of quilting behind the scenes. We're doing a free sew along that starts in the fall and so I've been sewing those blocks and it's crazy. I can't show you that yet, um, but I'm super excited that we're gonna be able to offer that free um, sew along to you guys in the fall and it's been really fun working on it. Um, one of the other things I've been working on is the Moda Blockheads. So Moda Blockheads is a free program that Moda is doing. It started like February of this year and it's going to January of 2021. And every Wednesday there is a free block and you can get that information on either the Moda blog or the Moda Blockheads group on Facebook. And um, each of the blocks comes in a bunch of different sizes. So what I decided to do is to make mine six and 12 inches and use this setting from Farm Girl Vintage 2. So I'm gonna show you row one and then my start of row two. And basically what, I've hap what has happened is I don't have enough 12 inch blocks. So I have so many six inch blocks that I could make already through row three, but I just need some 12 inch blocks. So I'm hoping that I get some 12 inch blocks soon. So this is the first row. And the reason that I'm doing it this way is so that I can sew it as I go. And then at the end, all I have to do is put the borders on. So this is row one. And so these are kind of the first blocks in the series. And of course I do change some of my blocks. Um, for example, this one right here, I changed, I change all the blocks if I can or if I feel like it. So that's row one. Put this back. And then row two is started, but again, I'm, I'm stuck. I don't have any more 12 inch blocks. So this is the start of row two. So I might have it, I think I have it upside down. But yeah, that's row two. And then I'm gonna show you all my other blocks that are ready to go into the row. And I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks to have some 12 inch blocks so that I can get row one, row two done and then attach it to row one. So this was this week's block. This is by Vanessa Gertson and it's called Won't You Be My Neighbor. Mm -hmm. And if you rotate the houses, you can get a star effect and uh, so that's kind of fun. I didn't do that. And then these are kind of already sewn together. These are previous ones and they're just waiting for some 12 inch blocks to sash with. And I might've shown these before. I can't exactly remember what I show. This one, for example, is one that came out about two weeks ago and I changed it and I showed it on Facebook and somebody was like, well, that's not really the block. And that's okay, that's just me being Kimberly and doing it my own way. And that's okay, that's the fun about it. Any quilt you're making, do whatever you wanna do. It doesn't have to be exact. And the artists are gonna be okay with it because you're putting your own spin on it. So those are my Moda Blockheads blocks and I have been using Minnick and Simpson fabrics and like an assortment. I started with Mackinac Island and then I just started adding some stuff. I did use some Sweetwater fabrics and I kind of just am mixing from my stash. So let me know if you'll have any questions on farm, on, um, sorry, um, Moda Blockheads. All right, uh, I'll let questions roll in. Uh, we had a question from Tracy Rychkowski. Do you start your pre-cuts? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what I do and what you should do, because those are two different things. Mm -hmm. So I will not make a quilt unless I can starch because I sew so fast, my fabric will not come out right. So if it's a charm pack, maybe I'll buy a layer cake. Is that a waste? Yes. If it's a jelly roll, you can starch it because it will shrink across the length and not the width. So you can starch a jelly roll. What happens when you starch is about half an inch will shrink one direction and the other direction, nothing will shrink. So I will do whatever I have to do to starch because, and that's, if I didn't starch, I would be pulling out threads 
I, or stitches like crazy because I, when I go, I mean, Kevin always shuts the door to my sewing room because I sew so fast. Um, I could sew, like one day I did 24 blocks in one day. Um, I just kind of, when I sit down and get motivated, I just go crazy. All right. Uh, we also have people watching from all over the world. We've got people from oh. Korea, England, Canada, Australia, Peru, and Yay. of course, United States. Um, I hope you guys are all safe. Take care yes. of yourself out there. Yes, everyone, please stay safe. Um, and then from Anita Zubulas, a few minutes to midnight here in Victoria, Australia. Hello, all. So look forward to these live streams. Wow. Oh, wow. And it's like the next day already, right? Yeah. Yeah, it would be. Wow. Uh, Christina Vanaman says, in all caps, Kimberly time. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> all right. And question from Gianna Gorsuch is, Kimberly going to participate in Halloween Figs Block of the Month? So Halloween's Figs Block of the Month, we had sold that as a Block of the Month last year, and then this year again, and I'm halfway done, and I started it last year. So I just have to kind of finish it, and the reason I haven't worked on it is I've been working on Moda Blockheads and the new Sew Along that we have in the fall. I'm making like 200 blocks or something crazy. So um, basically it's like 36 weeks and each week we give you three different sizes. And so I thought it would be fun to make all three sizes. So I have quite a bit to go on that. And then I need to get back to it. And the reason I stopped, if y'all wanna know the truth, is I got to an applique block and was like, mm, maybe I'll just stop for a little bit. But I am gonna finish the quilt. Um, it's also just been a lot busier in my house now that my kids are never, they don't have any activities. So I can't just so, you know, I can't like what I used to do for it. Let me just give you an example. Like Emma would have dance for like say four hours or Christopher would have baseball or the twins would do basketball because that's kind of their sport of choice. I could drop them off and then go home and just sew for an hour. And now I can't do that. So I have to keep them more entertained, do painting, paint rocks, um, puzzles. Oh. So it's, it's not as, um, I guess I just don't have as much time as I used to, which you would think it would be reversed, but it's not. Uh, fun comment from Christine Hawk. I listened and starched. Wow, what a difference. Went through two cans of starch in a week. Oh, oh my gosh. I could go through a one a day. I could go through. <laughs> um, I have it on. I decided to go ahead and do the auto ship on Amazon, mm -hmm. and that has helped me not panic. Because I haven't been to HEB in I don't know how many months. Um, so I don't even know if it's in the stores anymore because I don't go to the store anymore. A question from Cheryl Vitosh. Will Fat Quarter Shop get the pumpkins and cream quilt kit? I don't know what that is, so I don't know. Probably not. Yeah. It might be a Joanna pattern. Um, uh, if it is, just buy it off her site. Mm -hmm. um, she has a lot of her own quilt kits. That's right. Uh, from Katherine Jolson. Hello from South Greenland. You all are the best. I have a question. What do you use for the inside uh, inside the fabric for when you're making pot holders for the kitchen? Recommend What are the recommendations? So there is one that's got, um, it's called like, I think it's Bozel and it's for pot holders. I've never made one, but there is some specifically for pot holders. So I would search for that. Maybe it's Insel Bright. Maybe that's what it is. I think it is Insel Bright. Insel Bright. And yeah. so it has like the stuff it needs to keep the heat mm -hmm. in. So um, the other thing that I worked on is Be Patriotic. So this is a sew along that we're doing with Lori Holt. Um, it basically takes blocks from cr Vintage Christmas Book and we're turning them patriotic. We are sold out of the Fat Quarter Bundles. Um, we hope to have more in about two weeks. The quilt behind me is Lori's. So she made her quilt in 12 inches. I made my quilt in six inches. So here's my quilt. Last week I showed, last week I showed how you can put the binding, how to put rickrack into the binding. So if you wanna see that, you can go back and watch that. And I did finish my binding by hand this weekend. And here's my back. On the back, I put a 12 inch block. So there's that. But this week, 
what Lori did as a freebie is since you use a fat quarter bundle for this, you should have a lot left over. So the first thing she did is um, if you scroll up, Lily, there is a there is a bunting on the camera. And uh, so she did a free tutorial on her blog on how to make this. Actually, it's on her YouTube channel. Yeah. So we link to her blog. Her blog has a link to everything you need. So there's a free video on how you can make bunting. So there's that. And there's also this. And I do have a funny story, mm -hmm. except that it's not really oh. <laughs> that funny. So she also gave instructions on how to make a flag. So this could be, um, these would be great placemats or just for the center of a table. Oh. And so that is on her blog. And then this next one is, for example, if you had like a big farm table, you could do this. Mm -hmm. So I was actually planning to make this to show you guys and I was gonna change the colors a little bit and I was gonna show you today. And I stayed home to do it and guess what? I can't find my fabric anywhere. So it's um, super interesting that I can't find my fabric. I don't know where it is. But the whole premise of this, if you read her blog is, say you have a long skinny table, you could make this section longer or shorter so that it fits your table. And then another thing, what I was going to do is I have a thread cabinet and I am gonna make it. Um, I just have to find my fabric. I searched for like 45 minutes. I have no idea where my fabric is. I was thinking maybe it was here. It's not here. I don't know where I put it. But what I was going to do was this. I was going to make a long um, flag. And then I was, the my table was a little bit longer. So I was going to add a couple of strips this way. It wouldn't look good with the two stars just because I kind of drew it out and it wouldn't look good. So these are things that you can do with the book. All of that is on her blog. And she used C120 denim as this background. We're sold out, and I know that we're sold out. Um, we should have more soon. Everything is back ordered right now with everybody. So those are super fun and easy and a great way to use the vintage Christmas book. Mm -hmm. So I just want to show that and give a big thank you to Lori for sitting all that. Mm -hmm. But yes, I was going to, I was going to change my, um, like some of the backgrounds, I was going to change it up a little bit and kind of do my version. And I don't know how you can lose 40 fat quarters. I don't know where they could be. My sewing room is not that big. Mm -hmm. And I do keep everything very organized and in its sections. So I don't know what I did. Um, I know I'll find it. But um, it was funny because Kevin came home and he was like, did you make your flag? And I was like, I can't find my fabric. He's like, what? he's like, what? I was like, I don't know. I mean, like, I literally searched so long for that fabric. I could have had I could have the star done. I don't know where it is. Um, so it's kind of one of those things that's funny, but really it's not funny because I am going to make it. I just have to find my fabrics. Yeah, it's, like, it's a mystery. And if you hear rain, guys, I'm really sorry if you start hearing that. It's pouring down rain outside and we have a tin roof or a metal roof. So yeah. <laughs> apologize if you hear that. There's not much we can do. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty noticeable. Um, it's relaxing for me. I don't know. Yeah. Um, a uh, suggestion from Charmaine Williams, Fat Quarter Shop, maybe a pillow too, dot, 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 from the, yes. from the runner. Yeah, that would look awesome. And uh, Mimi Fraser is asking, is Fat Quarter Shop getting Lori Holt's Crazy Paper for Five and Charms anytime soon? Yes, I don't remember the date. That is made by Riley Blake, and we ordered a ton of it. So the second it comes in, we will have it, and I will make samples, and I will sew stuff with it. I don't remember the date on that, though, off the top of my head. Uh, question from Gabriel Fuentes, what needles do you recommend for hand binding? So I use black gold needles from Clover. And I think they might be called binding or something. Um, they're really thick, um, but they're strong and I don't ever break them. That's the big thing for me is just not being able to break a needle because I can be a little, I have, I mean, it can be like, I can, I like to go fast. So when you go fast, you put more pressure. So. That's kind of my thing, is I don't break them. Yeah. 
we have lots of people doing detective work for us right now uh, oh. on where your uh, fabric might be. So suggestions so far are oh. uh, from Teresa, one of Kimberly's children probably hit her fabric. Uh, from Wilma El- Evans, you your lost fabric is in a bag somewhere. LOL. Yeah, it probably is. Uh, and a few people are also suggesting maybe it's still in your car somewhere. It's not in my car. Because hmm. I, because, so what I do when I come to work now is I got a laundry basket. I'm, I'm on the search for a cute laundry basket, but like a hamper, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. a plastic, you know, like you get at Target. Yeah. So basically I keep it in a corner of my sewing room. I put everything in and then I bring it to work and then I unpack it and then I take it back. So every day I come to work with it, but I don't, and so I clean my car out every day, but I don't know where... I couldn't believe it. I called Lori. I was like, Lori, do you know what I do? <laughs> um, but I don't, and, and I remember, like, we had talked about in the very beginning, like, save your fabric. We're going to use the leftovers so that there's no waste. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I don't know what I did. I pulled everything out. I was, like, pulling stuff out of drawers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have no idea what I did. Hmm. Yeah. I'm sure it'll, it'll be, like, a, one of those things that turns up when you're not looking for it. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yes. Alright, um, and then we have several super chats that have been coming in. So the first one we got was from Katherine Jolson for $10. Thank you. Uh, and Katherine says, hello from South Greenland. Your Fat Quarter Shop family is the best ever. Thank you. Aww, thank you, Katherine. And then our next super chat is from Susan Geisler for $1.99. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Yay. And then our next one is from Pi Nyngren for uh, 22 and OK. Uh, and they say hello from Oslo, Norway. Thank hello. you. It is always amazing to me how international we are. Yeah, That's I know. A great it's community. crazy. Um, and then super chat here from Jess Berler for $5. Thank you, Jess. It's very much appreciated. Piggy says thank you. Yeah. He's so cute. Oh, go Piggy. I had to drop him off. I think Lily was probably figure- wondering where I was oh. this morning. <laughs> Because I, sh- I walked in literally at 9 o'clock, but he had to be dropped off because he gets a bath and his nails cut on Friday. And um, I don't know if y'all know about pugs, but pugs really stink. They have to have a bath. And he won't let me cut his nails, but the guy that I take him to, he will let him cut it. So otherwise I would just bathe him at home because I don't mind bathing him. It's his nails, but they, um, so yeah, I was late because they opened late, which is fine. Mm-hmm. But I'm excited because usually when he takes a bath, he acts better. Uh, Free Spirit here says, Piggy has secretly taken up quilting. So oh, that would they... be funny. No, that dog, uh, he's in trouble. That dog has Aww. been naughty. He's been naughty this week. Aww. All right, and then we have a question from Jacqueline Yvonne Woodard. Uh, question, we need a Fat Quarter Shop sticker with Piggy or maybe say Jolly Junkies. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I could do a t-shirt. Ooh. That would be a good t-shirt. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. I'm I don't all know for if people would be idea. offended, though, because junkie might have a bad word. Yeah. Junkie. I don't know. But the piggy. The piggy's very cute. Oh. <laughs> I just want stickers of piggy as, like, super piggy. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys some other new stuff. Uh, we got in some tape measures from Lori Holt, and they're really cute, so I just want to show you. I'm going to kind of hold them up so you can zoom in and not get my face. <laughs> There's four colors. Look, let's see if I can hold all four. Ooh. I think I can. Da, da, da. So these are super cute. Those came in recently. I just wanted to show them because they're cute. But I'm super excited. So you know how we've been doing the foundation paper? We did some foundation paper with Lori, and it's called the Economy Block. And then once Lily zooms out, I'll talk more about it because I don't want my face on the zoom. (laughs) Okay, so the six inch, so I made these blocks super easy. So this is the six inch, and the six inch comes just like the six inch. So on the back, you can make it six inch. The 12 inch, though, is super awesome. So this is the 12 inch. You can make the 12 inch like this, or you can just put one fabric here so that it's more like this. And we're gonna have a big demo of this. So one thing I'm thinking of doing is sewing these up in a totally different fabric collection and putting it on my little floss 
cabinet since I didn't make the flag. But I do. I, I was thinking about doing that. But also, uh, we're our sample makers are going to be making quilts out of this with prim, and so that's going to be shown. Oops, in a couple of weeks. So these are our brand new quilt pads. They're similar, it's the same exact paper that we use in our log cabin blocks and our pineapple paper blocks. So super excited, we put these online yesterday. I expect they will sell out really good. And the reason why I'm super excited about these is because anytime you're making a block like this, like a square, so like a square and a square or something like this, when you stitch right here, you're on the bias. And I feel like you just, I never can get it right. And so one of the things I've always talked about is how square and a square is my nemesis. I can never get a square and a square right. So at some point, um, I might do square and a square triangles on a roll paper. Um, but this is kind of the same concept is this will come out more accurate because you don't have that big long bias seam. And these were fun to make. So these are the two and I used her prim collection. So that's super exciting. That's brand new. So let me know if you'll have any questions on that. Um, I think the quilts are going to come out magnificent. I'm super excited. Yes. Uh, from Teresa, what size is the center square in those blocks? I don't know. Will you throw me a ruler? I don't remember off the top of my head. I made these like a couple of months ago. Sorry. Thanks. So let's see. And it, it, it is on the instructions. I guess I could have just read the instructions. Oh, whatever. It is three inches finished. Ooh. And in the, what we have, sorry, I should have just opened it. But what you, what we have is instructions right here. So when you get your paper, you get instructions. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's been a, maybe I made those two months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, from Aline Wilson, can you use a pre-cut for the economy block? Yes. So on the economy block, the six inch, you would start with, you could use a charm pack. And on the big ones, you could use a 10 inch square. Or you could just use scraps, <laughs> which is what I was planning to do oh. with, um, yeah, well, I was actually planning to do it with my be, tra be Patriotic leftover bundles after I did the flag, because then I would still have more. Mm -hmm. But now that my fabric's gone, I, don't <laughs> I was thinking about it. having Emma look for it, but I know my kids didn't take it. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't know what I did. Yeah. Uh, we have a suggestion from Nancy Martin, uh, Piggy's Peeps. Oh, or like a t -shirt that's funny. Or a, or a sticker. Um, Okay, from Julia Cold, Kimberly, have you seen the bag that Gudrun uses? It is huge, and she is doing a sew along for it. I have no idea. I have been, I'm going to be super honest with you guys. I just got completely cold turkey off social media. Can't take it anymore. So I haven't seen it. So um, that's just a personal, I am all about positivity. I'm all about being the best person I can be, and I have high anxiety. It's part of what I have, and I'm okay with admitting it. And um, I just can't be on social media right now. So I just am not. And so that's why I haven't seen it. Mm. And I'm just being totally transparent. I just am not on social media right now. Mm. So if you're posting and putting my name, I'm not seeing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, from Karen Sharp, just a very sweet comment. They say, good morning, Fat Quarter Shop. Just popping on for a few minutes while working from home on Long Island, New York. Don't tell my boss. Thank you for all you are doing to keep your employees safe. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go, Karen. Um, from Katherine Jolson, question, does Fat Quarter Shop have a suggestion for beginners who are about to learn to quilt their quilt top? What quilting tools, as in rulers, for the actual quilting part of doing a quilt? So I would kind of start with Stitch in the Ditch. I would follow some of Gina Tell's videos that we have had on our channel. Mm -hmm. And we did some quilting videos with um, doing crosshatch quilting mm -hmm. on our beginner quilt series. I would kind of start there. But other than that, um, I would maybe ask Gina Tell on Kimberly Stitch Squad or maybe watch some of Natalia Bonner's videos. Mm -hmm. I have very little experience quilting and so I'm not the best expert. Like I own no rulers to quilt. Um, 
so I really don't, um, I don't have anything to answer because I'm not an expert and I don't do it and I'm not good at it. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay, I'm okay saying that. Um, question from Mary Bal Baldison. Will you be doing a demo for these papers? Yes, I will be. Yay. Uh, from Kay Parkhouse, will you be making courthouse steps papers? Yes, that's actually already on the list. Oh, exciting. Uh, from Iris Rivera, can you please talk about Tulip Pink Nebula? Is it hand pieced or machine sewn? Nebula is machine sewn and it uses, you can either do it with templates or you can do it with the Jaybird quilts, rulers, hex and more, mm. and sidekick. It um, does not have any Y seams. I have used those rulers and um, it's very doable. You're just working on the bias a lot. Um, on that one, I would definitely starch. I would never attempt that without starching. Oh, and then another thing I was going to talk about with the papers is on the papers, we space out the paper releases. So we're not going to have another paper for three to six months because if you come out with papers over and over and over, they're not going to sell. So um, we won't have courthouse steps for quite a while. We space everything out um, just because of that. So just because I said I'm not, I just don't want you guys to be upset that we don't have it like next month or something. Um, from Anna Sendejas, good morning. I was wondering what the difference between 50 and 40 weight thread is when quilting. Okay, so 50 weight is thinner and it is for regular piecing. That is what I personally use for piecing. I only piece with RFL 50 weight. That would be also good for quilting. 40 weight is, let me think, 40 weight is thicker and so I'm not sure what you use it for. You could, um, but it is definitely thicker. It might be something that you could put your, if you want your quilting, like the top of your quilt to be really heavy, you could use it for quilting or if you wanted to do that big stitch quilting. I've personally never used um, 40 weight. I have only worked with 80 weight and 50 weight. And 80 weight is what I use for applique when I do it, which is very rare. And from Jacqueline Yvonne Woodard, I have a question about Lori Holt's Prim Village Quilt Kit. Will the pattern be available as a standalone or do you have to? Prim Village? Yes. Okay, Prim Village comes in a box from Riley Blake and um, they don't offer that pattern separately. Now maybe in the future they would. That is a decision that Lori would make and Riley Blake would make. Um, that is a product that they do that I'm totally out of. It's not something that I publish, so I can't speak to it. But I know that when it comes out, it's only available in the box. And that's not my decision. All right, and we have a few more super chats that have come in. Uh, the first one here was from April Kane for 99 cents. Thank you. Thank you, April. And then the next one is from Pi Nigran for 22 and okay. Um, and they say, is the fabric in the freezer or the fridge? Oh my gosh, that would be <laughs> so funny. I actually need to clean out my fridge. That was actually, I was gonna do that yesterday and I didn't. I did do the dishes yesterday though. And mm -hmm. some laundry. Ooh. Which is, yeah. I always feel really productive when I do my laundry. You know, like when, so one of the things, like when you have depression, one of the best things to do is to do one cleaning thing a day because, mm -hmm. so yesterday I was like, I, cause right now it's just a crazy time. Like I'm not the only one that feels it, but I'm just a mess. Mm -hmm. I am just, everything is uncertain. Everything is out of my control. I don't like living like this. I don't like it. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to do laundry. I'm going to do dishes mm -hmm. and um, I think I even took the trash out <laughs> like I was <laughs> like I'm gonna I think it's like I'm gonna spend one hour doing this because I can control it mm -hmm. and when you can control something and also I can't find my fabric so I'm like <laughs> I am yeah I, I gotta find it yeah yeah it's something that's like manageable yes that you can do all right and then we also have a new YouTube member Elizabeth Allegretto welcome Elizabeth thank you yay and so you guys asking about coupons, um, we have not put a coupon on our members page and that is because we are behind on shipping and I don't wanna get more behind. So um, that is why we have not offered a coupon mm -hmm. and why we did not have a sale for our 17th anniversary is because we just wanna get caught up mm -hmm. and we don't wanna do anything to cause us to not get caught up. Yes, uh, but yeah, we do have a pattern that we are gonna give our YouTube members this coming week, so. 
There's a pattern. So I wanted to remind you guys, Jelly Snowflake is starting um, July 2nd. And we filmed that video, was it this week, Lily, or last week? It was both Full last weeks. week and this week. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to read you the fabric requirements. We have a link to the blog that has everything on it for the fabric requirements. If you wanna do this, sew along, it's right there. Good, I don't have to read it. <laughs> um, yay! So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you um, the quilts and I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because I messed that up the other day, I'm sorry. So this is the one I did on camera. This is Dear Christmas by Urban Chicks and that's what I picked. And Gina, I'm sending it to you to quilt. Yay. Okay, this one is Christmas Figs 2. Teresa made this and Mike quilted it. I saw Mike this morning. Oh, yay. I'm just gonna peek. And so this kind of gives you just a look, a flavor. This is Country Christmas by Ann Sutton Bunny Hill Designs. Nancy made this and Mike quilted it. This is Grunge and Bella Jelly Roll made by Angel and quilted by Mike. So she just used a white Jelly Roll, which is 9900 Jelly Roll-98, and she put a grunge with it, just one grunge. So it's gonna look kind of like a snowflake. This one is Chill by Zen Chic. I really like this collection. It has um, got some really pretty gold metallic, and I'm not actually a fan of gold metallic, but I, I do like this. Mm -hmm. And Jen made this and Mike quilted it. And there's gold, you can't see it, like, but there is gold right there. Oh, it's really starting to rain outside, guys. I must have got here just in time for the rain because it didn't even look like it was gonna rain when I got here. Yeah. This is Holly Berry by Corey Yoder. I love this one. And this was made by Nova, and Mike hey. quilted it. Go Nova and she put a fig tree on the back. So let me know if you'll have any questions on Jelly Snowflake and then I have a couple other quilts just to show you like new stuff that we've done, like some new videos. You're gonna notice that our video content has gone, our video output has gone down. Mm -hmm. That's because we're trying to get the orders out to you and I'm doing other stuff behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, I'm gonna let questions roll in about Jelly Snowflake. Uh, we had a question from Holly O'Brien. What happens if you don't quilt enough? Will the batting shift around? Yes, so when you buy batting, on the bag it will say suggested quilting every two inches or every three inches or every one inch. It kind of depends which one you buy, but on any kind of bag of batting it should say that. And if you don't, when you wash it, your batting can um, wad up. I think they call it wadding. That's why I think they call batting wadding in Australia. But it just like, it'll do like balls. I don't know the right term, I'm sorry. But yes, just follow whatever is on your batting. Uh, also, just funny comment from my end when I initially read, what happens if you don't quilt enough? I thought she meant like, if you're not at home quilting a lot, like what happens oh. if you don't do that enough? I'm like, I don't know what happened. Oh. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just funny uh, how my how my brain took that That's initially. Um, I also just thought this was a funny comment from the pokey little pineapple. Um, when you we were talking about how cleaning's manageable, uh, they said, I garden when I start feeling low. You should see my pickles. And I just thought, you should see my pickles is just a great That's funny. fun thing to say. I That's love funny. pickles. Um, from Marcy Wincuff Ostrander, the decor behind you is so cute. Thank, Thank you. you. Shout out to Cody and Katie who put that together. Yeah, and this sign is at Hobby Lobby. Oh yes. So um, we got that at Hobby Lobby and people have gone crazy. And in my Facebook group, when I, I haven't been on it in a while, but last week they were going crazy with it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. The day that we posted it, people were posting. Mm -hmm. Okay, from Christine Plumstead, should each of the 14 jelly roll strips be different or can you have seven different, uh, i.e. two of each strip? 
you can do whatever you want. Like for example, Angel's Quilt, she just did two colors. You could duplicate, you could do, um, you could even do more. Like as the pattern comes out, there's some stars and you need four strips and you make eight stars from four strips. You could really do eight different stars from eight strips. So you can kind of customize it as you go. Mm -hmm. It'll be easier to tell as you go, as each part, each part is released. Mm -hmm. You could use scraps. You could use, I mean, mm -hmm. if you just have some scraps laying around, you don't have to use a jelly roll. Also, uh, people in the comments are pointing out that I think I switched the Christmas figs and holly berry quilts. Okay. So that was my bad. Yeah, because I think the last one we showed was supposed to be holly berry, but I think it was Christmas figs. Okay. Yes. Sorry. That was me. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, from Erin Bristow, would a beginner do better starting with jelly rolls? Uh, I would say no. Um, but other people would say yes. Um, it's just a personal preference. Mm -hmm. I think a beginner pre-cut would be a charm pack okay. or a layer cake. To me, because it's just easier, because it's square, it's smaller. That's why I say that. All right, from Caroline Henry Phillips, is Jelly Snowflake appropriate for a new quilter? Yes, very beginner. And on those videos, um, we do every step mm -hmm. so that you can kind of see, and I try to give as many tips as I can. It's more a, a longer video with more detail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From Lori Taylor, could you add borders to Jelly Snowflake to make it larger? Would it look okay? Yes, the, the borders on it that come on it will be two and a half inches. You could add it, you could make it bigger if you wanted. I would think four and a half would be big. I would not go past four and a half. I think it might look funny if you put a six and a half inch border on it. Mm -hmm. All right, from Linda Berry on Moda Blockheads, how many six inch and 12 inch blocks do you make or how many do you know how to make? Okay, so I will read it to you. So for the quilt that I'm using, you need 20 12 inch blocks and 36 inch blocks. And so some of the blocks that Moda Blockheads has released, they might be applique or they might be foundation paper piecing or they might just be something that I don't fit fits the style of the fabric I picked because I picked Americana fabric um, and I would like to keep it within that theme. So I have changed to some different blocks from different Lori Holt books. And each week I show that. And um, I'd like to do that not only just because that's what I actually do in my house, is when you're making a quilt, you can do whatever you wanna do. Just like in life, do whatever do whatever you wanna do. Mm -hmm. Except you should be a good person. Like, let's start there. Yeah. But I mean, um, you really can make your quilt whatever you want it to be. Um, and I'm just not, I don't enjoy applique. So why do applique if I don't enjoy it? That takes the fun out of it for me. Um, also right now, I'm sorry, I just went what out of nowhere. Um, it's because Lynn Thurston said, aw, Alaska doesn't have a Hobby Lobby. And that just blew my mind. That in oh Alaska. gosh, yes. I haven't, yes, I love Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Okay, from Sewing Becca, when is the Holly Berry block of the month to start? August, because that fabric, the yardage ships in July, and when we do those block of the months, we cut them in house. So anytime we start a block of the month, we start at the month after that gives my kidding department enough time to get it, cut it and pack it. And also when they say a group ships in July, it could be July 1st, it could be July 31st. That gives us enough time to get it, receive it, cut it, pack it. Mm -hmm. Okay. From Lynn Farron, what is the backing of the Be Patriotic quilt behind you? Okay. Let me see if I can show it. Okay, so she used, it is a 108 inch wide granny chic, and it is the greenish color. Mm -hmm. It's very cute. Yes, and I used a different one. What I used was the leftover, I had leftover border fabric, which is what I used. Uh, from Marilee Spies Jung, what color is the grunge background? I don't know. We're going to have to ask Angel. That would
that wasn't on the sheet. Oh, she's telling me right now, 301-5347. Sorry. No, you're good. It was a number, not a, a word. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, and then we had several uh, super chats also come in right now uh, from Elizabeth Allegretto, $10. And they say, love these life chats. They have helped me keep my sanity in these crazy times. I love your positivity and your knowledge and love of what you do. Thank you. Aww, thank you, Elizabeth. Also, I love saying your last name. It is very is a very fun last name to say. Um, from Diane Howard, uh, super chat for $5. Thank you, Diane. Oh, thank we're you. super picky. There he is. Oh. Yes, thank you, Diane. And then we had a couple new YouTube members. Uh, Sonia Corley Brown, welcome, Sonia. Thank you. And Lisa Henderson, welcome, Lisa. Thank you. Yay. So I'm going to show you some new quilt kits, some different things that we've done. Spellbound is a pattern that is a free pattern. So if you want to make this and you don't want the kit, that's totally fine. It's a free pattern you can download. It does use the double strip ruler by Creative Grids. And we released this pattern and video a long time ago, but we recolored it into Midnight Magic by April Rosenthal. It's really big. And we have a oh. quilt kit. Oh, that's so cool. Yes. So Victoria made this and Jocelyn designed it and Mike quilted it. It's ginormous. I'm gonna show the bottom too. Oh. Can, you can see the thun you can hear that thunder. Yeah. The next one is a newer it's so Emma pattern, which is called Partridge. Jocelyn designed it. We kitted this and the Christmas card fabric. Lily, did you make this? I made that. Lily made I oh my that. gosh, Lily. Yeah. And Mike quilted it. Lily, what happened? <laughs> when did you do this? A few months ago. Oh my goodness, Lily. Yeah. I'm so proud of Lily. Oh, thank you. Oh my word. Yay. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. That means a lot. Oh my gosh. Look at her points. <laughs> Everybody give her a little thumbs up. Yay. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Thank you. So look, a beginner can do it. Yeah. Grandmother's favorite is a classic and vintage pattern that we have, and it's a free block pattern, so you can get the free pattern. If you want to turn it into these different sizes, which are table runner, lap, twin, and queen, we have a low price pattern. Let's see. The fabric is Catalina by Fig Tree Quilts. Jocelyn designed it. Nova stitched it and Gina Tell from Thread Graffiti quilted it. And there's the backing. Can you see? I love this one. Mm -hmm. And then we do have a product called Jolly Bars. And um, they're five by 10 inch pre-cuts. Jolly is from my last name. And we have in every Jolly Bar on the back, you're gonna see a free pattern. And this one is the pattern that goes with that. It is called Seesaw, the pattern is called, and it uses the jelly bar. And Crystal designed this, Mike quilted it, and Terry made the sample. I like this quilting. Mm -hmm. I like that backing too. It's pretty. And then the last one I have to show you today is called Paper Flowers, and it's a brand new It's So Emma pattern. Crystal designed it, Jen made it, and Mike quilted it. And I think this is also Catalina. Mm -hmm. And then this is this backing. Ooh, I like this. This would be really pretty. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's super awesome. So those are kind of the things I have today to show you. We have to give all our quilts back to our sample makers and so um i think my sample makers wanted to take them home <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was funny the other day i was like what did happen to that quilt i made well yeah and um yeah it's 
Yeah, I'm gonna fold. So I'm gonna show you this. This is another thing. If you don't want wrinkles in your quilts, this is what you do. So this is what I'm gonna show you. This is how Lori mailed these to us. Actually, I would roll it with the backing showing. So if you don't want your quilts to ever have a crease, this is what you do. And you can do this with big quilts. They just become really long tubes. You can get a pool noodle and put it here. If it's a big quilt, like they're really cheap, you can get them at, where do you get, dollar store? Target, I don't know. Where do you get them, Lily? Uh, yeah, dollar tree, I think you can get them store. like at the dollar store. Oh, so Walmart. you'd put it here, but if it's small, you don't need it. And I would leave the backing where it comes through. So if there's a stain or something, it gets on the backing and you roll it. And then when we mail this back to Lori, there will be no creases and um, her quilt will come back and it will, she'll, you'll never even know that it was folded. So that's a great tip. And first in my house, what I, in one of my corners, I have a big uh, magnolia bucket, like a gray bucket. I got it on sale. One of the furniture stores here was discontinuing all the Magnolia home furniture. Mm. So I bought one of the, it's like a, I would have never bought it. It's like really expensive. One of those really big buckets and I rolled quilts and just stuck them in there. And so it's a great way to store them and then they don't get wrinkled. And then you can kind of switch them out. It's easy to switch them out. All right. Um, thank you for everyone who's being very kind in the chat uh they're saying things like good job lily and thumbs up i know that's some crazy I, that's crazy <laughs> thank you someone was like how did you keep it secret um i don't just in a different room usually yeah she's yeah. in a different room and now we're really social distancing and yeah. i really don't talk much you guys it's so funny to read y'all's <laughs> comments you can ask lily in real life i don't really talk yeah i don't do i talk i mean but not too not much unless we're yeah actively doing something yeah. yeah and i think it's yeah i just I don't know. Um, and a few people were asking what the name of that quilt was. That was Partridge. Um, it's an It's So Emma pattern. Uh, and then question from MJ, would you starch a Jolly Bar? Okay, I always starch. But if you need two five inch squares, you cannot starch because it will shrink. So it depends on your pattern. If you've got enough room to where you can, then, then do it. If you don't, then don't. I just cheat by buying bigger. I, it's horrible, it's a waste. I know, you guys email me all the time about I waste fabric, I totally know I do. Yeah. I, um, one of my goals in life is I don't have very much time. Like I work all the time. When I wake up, first thing I do, get in the shower, come to work. Like there's no play time, <laughs> none. Um, so I have to go as fast as possible and I will do anything to be as efficient as possible in anything in my life, I don't care what it is. It could be not work. It could be like cleaning up, doing the dishes. I just, efficiency. And um, it's like work smarter, not harder. Mm -hmm. And then like make yourself, I don't know. One of the things my dad used to always tell me, oh my gosh, he would get so mad at me. He would say, make yourself useful. And so now I tell my kids that and they just look at me like I'm crazy. But that's like a thing, like you have to be doing something. You have to make your life like matter, like make something matter in your life, whatever it is, and be as efficient as you can because then you can do more. Mm -hmm. And so when I waste fabric, it's so that I can go faster and I can get more done to show you on live stream because this takes me like 20 hours a week just to do all the stuff, mm -hmm. like at a minimum. Mm -hmm. And Lily too, like I don't know how many hours it takes her, but it's a lot. Mm -hmm. She emails me about 10 times. Yeah. <laughs> Especially this week, I feel. Well, I was um, I was not here a couple of days because um, errands had to be done. Yeah. Uh, okay. From Kathy Neferis, do did you talk about the pillow? It's a B. Lori pillow, right? This one. You. Yeah. Okay. So this one is a PDF that she um, will link to it. I don't even remember the name of it. You know what, Lily? Why don't you put the name on the back of it? I'm going to start putting <laughs> Because I back. cannot remember. But a couple summers ago, about three summers ago, Lori and I, we, what we do is we run a hotel and we don't leave the hotel for like a week, five days. And um, I sewed it and then she turned, I sewed two of them and then she turned both of them into a pillow. So she has a matching one at home. This used to be in my closet at home, but it's too cute to not show. So, um, yeah, and it just uses scraps. I should make another one. Mm -hmm. I should make one, that would be really cute. Um, 
Yeah, I should make another one. Ooh. And then I'm super sad because I'm probably not going to get to see Lori for like nine months or something because yeah. the world. Like it's really, um, not that that should be my most worry, but like. It's so sad. I know. Now I'm not going to get to see Lori for a long time. Yeah, You guys can video chat. We do. She called oh, me good. last night at 9.50. <laughs> I talked to her. I would talk to Lori like every day almost. Oh. I do. Best friends. Uh, okay, from Pat Premitz, what was the Creative Grid's double pointed ruler? The one that we showed, yeah. So it's a double strip ruler, and we have a video on how you use it, but it's a way to cut. Like, um, you cut strips first, and then you cut this, and then it gives you that spider web look. And it goes with um, that very first pattern, Spellbound at Midnight. So we try to do different videos on how to use different rulers or just different things and just like the stripology ruler, um, just different videos. And we try to recolor some of the things that we've done in the past to keep things living, mm -hmm. especially now with not doing as many videos, we can relive other things that we've done in the past. Mm -hmm. Uh, from Amy Madsen, uh, coming in late, hello from Utah. Will the videos for the Mystery Cold starting on July 2nd be available later on? Yes. I will miss the first one. Yes, so we leave our videos up all the time. Yes, for forever. Yeah, forever, that's a good word. <laughs> as long as YouTube's a thing, those videos will be there. Could you imagine if YouTube went away? Oh my oh, goodness. Man. That's all yeah. I'm watching these days. That would be, I can't imagine that kind of world right now. Um, no. YouTube, like, the cra it's crazy. Um, I still don't have Hulu. Lori has texted me, like, three times about Hulu. I'm like, oh, I got to get Kevin to do it. Yes. <laughs> I just have to go in his office and get the password is yeah. all. I just don't trust myself to do it. <laughs> Deidre Powell says, how is Skyler? Haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's, he's still in orders. Yeah. He's good. Yeah, I saw him yesterday from afar. Um. Oh, Denise Marie's asking what I am working on right now. Uh, I'm working on another sample that uses a Jolly Bar. I'm very oh, excited. Wow. Yeah. yeah, when they send out that email, I was immediately like, please, me, I would love to do that. And Ugh. when it comes out, you guys will see why. Uh, from Teresa, are you getting the new Creative, ki Creative Grids Kitty Corner yep. ruler? Yep, should be here any day. Okay. Maybe today. Um, it should, uh, yeah. When, so when Creative Grids comes out with rulers, what they do is stores don't know it in advance. They release it to all stores on the same day, and I ordered the very first day. So I ordered it the first day it came out. So, um, But I am excited about that ruler. I think it looks interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. From Pat Bro, Kimberly, just do you. No need to explain your methods. And they put our little piggy emoji. Well, I feel like I need to because people email me a lot of things and mm -hmm. so I prefer to like say why I do it so that people can know like there is a reason to my madness like mm -hmm. um and so then less people will email me to try to tell me how to live my life oh <laughs> yeah okay uh real quick here there are a few more questions coming in but as i let them roll in i'm gonna go through uh super chats okay uh from kathy warden she gave us a super chat for a dollar 99 thank and you and then we got a super chat from valeria bauer for 19.99 um and uh ashley was kind enough to send me a little screenshot here of what their super chat is it's a little pair and it's got like hard eyes and it's going like this with a mirror Aww. and it says thanks for being you oh it's very cute uh, so thank you, Val Valeria. Um, I always kind of wonder, how did YouTube come up with a pear? Out of all that. of the fruit, couldn't they have picked a strawberry? <laughs> I know. I, I don't know why that's the default one. And it's like, it can we do a different fruit now? <laughs> it's, it's very cute, but yes, I don't understand the pear either. <laughs> um, okay, from we had a new member, Nancy Alderin. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you. Yay. And then we had a super chat for $4.99 from Deb Keller. Um, and they say, to be totally honest, I do miss the videos, but I totally understand you need to get caught up and get back in control. Hang in there. Thanks. Thank you, Deb. Uh, and then our next super chat was from Sunshine Girl 74 for $1.99. Aw, and they say, great job, Lily. Thank you. Yeah, go, Lily. I really appreciate it. Another thing it. about our videos, a reason we have less content is because a lot of our content comes from guest designers. Mm -hmm. And right now, I have zero idea when we will ever have the opportunity yeah. to even 
be able to have a guest designer. Yeah. So um, that's also part of it. Yes, yes. Uh, and yeah, in general, I think we're also just filming a little less to try to... We're just doing everything a little less. Yeah, <laughs> a little more safe about all that. Um, all right, and then our next super chat was from Wendy Artist for four ninety nine, and they say thanks for all of your videos, tips and tricks. Your page is great. Have totally helped this newbie. Highlight of my Friday: coffee and fat quarter shop work break. Oh, thank and you. A little heart. Okay, and okay, getting back to the questions from Charlotte Buckhart. Uh, Lily, is there a members only live stream or is it just a post? What day is that and where can I find it? Uh, I believe that is a post. We have been posting some like behind the scenes pictures for our members, uh, things like that. Um, so that, you know, you guys are getting uh, your membership stuff. And if y'all want to do just a general Q&A, mm -hmm. like members only, if y'all are interested in that, let Lily know and I'm happy yeah. to do it. Um, when, if y'all are interested in that, I always think it's funny that y'all would be interested to just sit here and ask me questions. Like, I, I think it's odd that, but yeah, I'm happy to do that. If y'all are interested, we can do another one of those anytime. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we, we can post about it and see what, what you guys are thinking. Um, yeah, and I'm even like, even Emma was like, Mom, you know, I'd really like to come to work one day and be able to see you film so I could learn a little bit about more what you do. And I was like, well, you can't come right now. Yeah. And so that stinks. Mm -hmm. um, just because she took like a video editing class mm -hmm. and she didn't really, I don't think she really enjoyed it. Um, it didn't click with her, but she still, she was like, well, I'm more interested in what Lily does and like equipment. Mm. And so I'm like, that stinks. Cause it'd be a great, like, um, bring your kid to work just to see like, yeah. but she was, I was like, yeah, you can't come. So maybe next summer she can come and see. Yeah. Hopefully fingers crossed. Yeah. Uh, from Bev Inskeep, uh, what size are the clover black and gold needles that you use for binding? I don't know. Can you pull up on the computer black clover? Just type black clover and then I can guess. Oh, yeah, okay. I can um I can just kind of guess. I haven't bought new binding needles in a while. Let's see. Okay, keep going. She's showing me on the screen. Sorry, we're <laughs> cheating. Okay, there we go. Black Okay, I think I use the sharp nine, ten, and twelve. Okay. Um, they're thicker, um, and I don't break them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let me just clear my queue here. From Rhonda W, are you doing a live feed for the Jolly Bar Roll Along? I believe that starts next week. So we are um, we're doing videos each day. Each day, each day of the week. It starts July 2nd. That's Jelly Snowflake. Okay, sorry, what are you asking? Uh, Jolly Bar, sorry. Jolly I have Bar a what? pop up, I think, with the schedule. Oh, Jolly Bar Row Along. Okay, yeah. so we don't have videos on that one. This is super beginner, and I can bring that quilt. Do we have it here? Yes. Okay, so we can show that next week, and Lily will put it on the schedule for next week, and we can kind of just show that. Um, I made that such a long time ago, <laughs> and I can kind of flip through the book to tell you, but that's very beginner, and I'm happy to answer any questions, um, but we did not do videos on that one. That's right. okay. Sorry, Jolly Bar, Jelly Roll, same. <laughs> we have so Similar. much stuff going on, it's hard for me to even. Jelly and Jolly. Uh, from Chris Eckhart, how do you become a sample sewer? So you work here first. Mm -hmm. So we, what, what happens is we, um, it's kind of a perk of working here because I pay for the batting and sometimes I pay for the quilting. It depends what it's for. Mm -hmm. And Nova's in charge of that. And she emails people and then you get first dibs, like whoever answers first gets it mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but it's just a perk of being able to work here because you get free quilts and you know, you can give them as Christmas gifts or use them for your house yes. or whatever. And it's a great way for me because I can't do all this. I mean, it takes a village to do all this. Like I can't, I can't do all this. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. it's funny. Cause the other day I did step outs for one of our videos, which I don't usually do the step outs. And I totally, everything got messed up. And I was like, I'm never doing it again. I'm <laughs> such a mess. <laughs> yeah. I made one of the blocks wrong. And then when I was putting on the table, I was like, this block is wrong. Like, <laughs> I can't even follow a block. Yeah, it was a learning. It, I kept, thinking of it as like our Macbeth. I think I've made that 
analogy yeah. before where it's like, ah, oh, this is it's something that just keeps happening here. Yeah, it's just, I mean, but I think it's, like, the energy in the world. Like, that's yeah. why I was like, I got to get off social media. I got to get off this <laughs> stuff. Like, I'm not on anything. Like, the other day, I was away from my phone for, like, four hours. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know where it was. I was sewing, and I was like, wait, I need my phone. Mm-hmm. I was just, like, watching TV. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, from R. Ellerman, what is the banner above the quilt on the wall? So the banner is a free tutorial that Lori Holt put on her YouTube channel. We have a link below to her YouTube channel. And if you subscribe to it, she shows you how you can use leftover Be Patriotic fabric to make the banner. And you could use it with any, it would be great for any holiday, be great for a birthday party. You could do it for Christmas, you could do it for Halloween, you could do it for July 4th, you could do it for any holiday. Mm-hmm. Hanukkah, anything. Yeah. Um, from. I'm going to try to pronounce this. Shluzu Mom? Does Lori Holt have any new books coming out? She does. Prim Prim and Proper is her next book. It's using her Prim collection. And we're going to be doing that photo shoot soon. And that is on our Coming Soon page. And then there's three in the works behind that. But um, we space them out, just like the paper. We space them out. And obviously, her books have a ton of content. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I can guarantee the second that prim and proper goes to print, the next one, we just start right on the next one. Mm-hmm. And I can't say what they are. I mean, obviously I know what they are, but mm-hmm. like that's, um, we wouldn't, what, if I said what we're going to do, I don't want somebody else to do it too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nova also wanted me to mention that the spellbound pattern can be purchased separately from the quilt kit. Okay. Sorry. I probably said it was free. Sorry. Uh, it's, but usually when we do those video patterns, we make them really low priced. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like 5 or $6. Yeah. Um, from Karen Maddox. Uh, oh, Lily, what was the fabric in your quilt? It was... Oh, go back to the spreadsheet and it's in there. Is Christmas it? card, right? Yes, thank you. The Christmas, Christmas The Christmas card by Sweetwater. Yes. And, yes. and then yeah. uh, that's a grunge background, though. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you. I was like, what fabric was it? Um, Lori Holt says, I'll still keep emailing you, Kimberly. LOL. Oh. Um, Natalie Merrill suggested to do a video chat between me and Emma. Oh, that's funny. She'd probably, <laughs> she'd probably be dancing in the background. Yeah. <laughs> um, from Christina DeWitt, when can we expect uh, the Lori Holt Prim series cross stitch? July. It comes out in July. I can't remember. I think it's mid, early or mid July. Mm -hmm. I know they're printed. I know part one is printed, but it's on like a schedule. I can't remember the exact date, but yes. Mm -hmm. And it's so exciting. So yesterday I was working on part four Mm -hmm. of Prim. Mm -hmm. Kevin had a flat tire and we needed to take it. uh, We have a service plan. You know how when you buy a car, sometimes you buy the service plan. So our Mm -hmm. car came with the service plan. So to get the tire fixed, we had to go to the dealership and he just really doesn't have time. So I said, you know what? I will go to the car dealer because I can sit and stitch and at least work. So I did, I went to the car dealership and two and a half hours and worked on Prim Stitch Series 4. Mm -hmm. Um, And that was fun. And I had my headphones on, I was stitching. People probably thought I was crazy. I had on my headphones, Mm -hmm. my cross stitch. Uh, Free Spirit says, thank you, Fat Quarter Shop. It's a jolly place to go. Aww. That's very cute. Um, From Linda Hester, shout out to Pat Sloan. She's got two broken wrists, and I'm sure she's watching. Get well soon. Oh, my goodness. So she fell, and she emailed me on Monday. And, okay, so we have a glitch in our email system where both Kevin and I have it. So if somebody emails, we either get... If it has text and a photo, we only get the photo on our phone. We don't get the text unless we're on our email. It's some kind of glitch. We don't know how to fix it, and we don't have time to fix it right now. It's the least of our problems, right? Mm -hmm. So I get the text when I'm driving to work at a red light, and I was like, wait, why are her arms like that? But I had to, I was like, oh, my gosh, I was, like, freaking out. And I had to wait to get to work to read what she wrote. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness, it sounds so painful and horrible, and I'm thinking about Pat, and oh, my goodness. Yes, we're sending all the good vibes to Pat. Yeah. Especially now, like, you don't want to go in a hospital right now. Yeah, no. Also, just good for her, because, like, she still went out there and, like, did her video with her broken wrist, and she's, like, smiling the whole time. I'm like, wow, like, that's amazing. That's super positive. It's Um, hard. 
I can't imagine, like, yeah. yeah. Like, even if you had to, like, get up. I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, oh, my goodness, how many times do I get in and out of the bed or in and out of a chair? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, oh, my goodness, you would need help with all of that. Mm-hmm. All right. From Cindy Wedeking, what are step outs? Okay, so step outs are what Nova does for me. So mm-hmm. at home, she will do... Um, all the different pieces that you need for a video because if I sat here and did it on the video every single step I would be here for eight hours so she does the step outs which is how would you describe it Lily like each piece you need it's like every step of the way is done individually yeah and then at the end you can take all those step outs and make another quilt or Mm -hmm. make a table runner or do whatever yeah but it makes filming go by a lot easier and it's a lot clearer it's a lot less stressful because Mm -hmm. you can stay focused on what you need to stay focused on and not mm-hmm. for because if we did every step out, I, I can't remember. I would not remember what step we were on, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. if that even makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, from Christine Douglas, ask Kimberly to update us on what she listens to or watches while sewing. I too like crew crime and true crime and mysteries. So lately, I've been watching that chapter. It's on YouTube. It's a guy named Mike, and he does. He's from Canada and he talks about true crime so i like him i've been watching um something from canada it's a tv show um it's like a true crime tv show that i've never heard of i mentioned it a couple weeks ago i've been watching that and i've been watching um court tv um I've been watching stuff about Scientology and Jonestown. Um, I kind of just watch what's recommended. I haven't seen anything on Netflix I like lately. Um, And I have been watching Snapped a lot. Now, I've already seen every episode of Snapped on Oxygen, but I just rewatch them and it's horrible Mm. that I, but yeah, I, like I'm so desperate I'm re-watching Snapped but I love Snapped I love the the lady who does the talking I love her voice mm-hmm. all right we have a few new members and more super chats uh new member Janet Sweetlove welcome Janet okay the name of it is the fifth estate is what oh, I've been watching it's yes. a Canadian I think it's like a 2020 in Canada that they put on YouTube after I think I haven't figured it out mm-hmm yeah, the fifth estate. I like the guy's voice. <laughs> a lot of what I like is if I like the people's voice. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think that does make a big difference, mm-hmm. like how you jive with that. Um, we also have a new member, Diane Howard. Welcome, Thank you. Diane. Uh, new member, Sprocket. Great username. Welcome, Sprocket. Um, and the new member, Spring Killian Brooks. Welcome, Spring Killian. Thank you. And then we had. Some super chats here. Uh, one from Sherry Anderson for dollar ninety nine. They say I'm going to need another job hanging out with you. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. But you know, a lot of the stuff I do try to show is stuff that you can get, like the patterns for free, and use up your stash mm-hmm, mm-hmm. too. Like you don't always have to feel like you have. Like you can use a jelly roll for the jelly snowflake from like five years ago. It doesn't yeah. even matter. Yes, that would be really cool. Actually, seeing like what fabric is in everyone's stash right now. Um, I know that people's stash is going down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, and then a few new YouTube members, Crafts for Others. Welcome, Crafts for Others. And Susan Geisler. Welcome, Susan. Thank you. Yay. And welcome, new member, Patty McConnell. Thank you. Welcome, Patty. Yay. So, guys, have a great weekend. Um, Stay safe, and I will be back next week. I'm not sure what I'm going to be showing next week. I haven't decided yet. So I can have some fun this weekend trying to figure out what we're going to do next Friday. And have a great weekend. All right. Bye, guys.